All right, in the garage, I'm um, gonna do a quick workout real quick. Um, stay in shape, uh, like real quick. I got my protein shake here out here already. Um, so I can just immediately start working because I'm gonna get this all over here, um, all uh, clamped up and then level. And I have a, an idea on how we're gonna get that level. And then I'm gonna bug Tim and try to get him to come over here and burn it together for me. So, yeah. All right, I'm down here on the ground trying to figure out how to get this thing level, and uh, I'm having a hell of a time with it. So I can get this one level, and then as I'm start, start to get this one level and this one level, it tells me that that one, this side needs to be, these tell me that this side needs to be lower, and that side needs to be higher, but then when I put the level on it, the level says that side needs to be higher, and this side needs to be lower, and I can't seem to figure it out. So there's some kind of torque in there that I just can't seem to figure out. Um, I don't know what's causing it. I don't know how that it doesn't even make sense to me, but I mean, maybe the steel isn't perfectly flat. Uh. All right. Tim was just over here. Didn't get any footage of him, but, um, he's just exhausted. He won't help me weld. I tried my best to talk him into it and he won't do it. So I've got it on the table right now. I've got some one, two, threes, um, in the corners clamped in there. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to do it with a stick welder. That thing, a little stick welder, it's, I, it's all I got. It's gonna be interesting. This is really a job for a MIG, but we'll do it. So I got this up on the table now to try to get it flatter and I think I'm gonna try to level it before I start. And then I got it clamped in the corners. I need to check the trueness from corner to corner, from corner to corner. Um, and uh, that's kind of how you true it up and get it level. All right, so now I have the one, two, threes, one here and one over there. Um, and then I have Tim's magnets here for the 90s there and there. And then so I'm going to weld on the one, two, threes first. Um, I still want to get this table level, which I don't have it level yet. But um, these are also Tim's. So Tim's kind of helping me out right now, giving me his stuff. But I got this. And then the way you do this is you take your tape measure. And you go and you measure from corner to corner, and then you try to and then you adjust it until this corner, that corner to that corner equals that corner to this corner. And so when they equal the same distance, you know you got a full square. So that's what I've been doing right now. Um, and uh, gonna have to fucking stick weld this, which is not gonna be a great way to do it. And I got to stick weld on an angle, which is very difficult to do. Um, so this is gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, the table's flat, level, so that worked. Um, so now I got a level table to work off of. I think I'm gonna run up to um, Harbor Freight and uh, get some, I need an, I'm, Tim thinks I should get a welding hood, and I don't always agree with Tim, but I think, I think he's right. I think I need a welding hood, a proper welding hood, because mine is an auto darkening, and I don't like burning my eyes out, which I read now. Inevitably, when I try to do a project this complicated, if I try to do it with that hood, I end up always getting an arc without my hood up, and I get a huge spot in my eyes, and which isn't good for my eyes, and especially not good and not good for my migraines, and just not good in general. So I think I'm gonna run over there. It's about a 20 minute drive. I think I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna try to get some other clamps too, because I think I need a few more clamps to get this thing going. And then I think what I'm gonna change the way this is right now. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the uh, the flat stock. Wow, oh, there it is. I'm gonna take that flat stock behind the um, extension cord over there for the tabletop and I'm gonna put it underneath and kind of slot a couple of them underneath and then kind of clamp down. And then these one, two, three blocks, I can clamp this way too. And I can get pretty, I should be able to get pretty damn um, flush there. And that'll add another level of security. And so it'll be, you know, a plane this way, that'll be another way to, to attach and try to get things as close to flat as possible. And I think it'll also reinforce this plywood a little bit. So I need some clamps to be able to clamp here and clamp over here like that. Um, so I need to get some of those. Um, let me get the welding hood in Harbor Freight. Gonna go look at welding masks. That's what I'm looking at getting right now. We also need clamps, so get some of these in here. This is the saw I want at some point too. That I can do angled cuts more accurately, so I don't have to use that circular saw. Clamps. In the parking lot. Got the welding helmet, got the clamps. You know, I really, really enjoy Harbor Freight. Um, if you've never been there, it's like a uh, discount tool place, a lot of blue collar kind of working class people in there. But um, 
it, it gets a little bit of shit because uh, it's like cheap tools. But honestly, I've bought some tools from them, and I think all their shit is really good quality. Um, and it's way, way cheaper than stuff. Even you can get on Amazon, which is Amazon's hard to beat a lot of the time. Um, you know, that's t that tends to be the market they serve, and I, I really think that. Um, they, they maybe, maybe at one point they had a reputation for making poor quality tools, but, um, the stuff I've got has worked really well from them. So yeah, I really like it. Yeah, the guy checked me out of the counter. Um, he, he was like, you, what are you doing? You're a YouTuber. I'm like, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. He's like, oh, cool. I'll go check you out and follow you. So who knows? We may, maybe we get another sub from that. Um, shout out to Stefan if he uh, comes and checks this out. But, um, um, anyway, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I got the, got the tools. Now I'm going to go home and uh, try to put this table together. So let's go back from Harbor Freight, making a sandwich. Where are we gonna weld? Get this shit going. All right, I got this thing clamped just about every which way you possibly can right now. So um, it's all clamped up. If I had two more one, two, three blocks, I would clamp fully each corner. But um, I checked the distance, it was good before I put the clamps on. Now I can't measure it, but we're gonna assume it's good. Um, I have it clamped in the middle too so that. The steel is offering a good support. One thing I am going to do is I'm going to check the levelness. If I see some levelness off, I might have to check it but or change it. But um, if not, we should be good to weld in just a moment. Just burned a hole in it. It's not a good start. All right. Lost power. That looks a lot better, though. Another hole. It's a bummer. By the way, new welding helmet. It's great. I can actually see now out of it, which is awesome. It's automatic. It's only like 50 bucks. Not bad. Gotta love Harbor Freight. So I got the two welds done here and then over there. Um, so cross, now we need to come back and we need to do this one right here. Um, and um, for that, I'm gonna take off the, the um, this. I wonder if I should tack it. Maybe I'll tack, I might do a tack right here just to kind of hold it together. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna do a tack right here, just one little tack, and then one little tack on the other side. And then um, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna weld up this, and um, then do the same thing on the other side. So then we'll have mostly the frame done, and then um, I might do a little bit more reinforcement on it, really get it solid, and then um, go through and uh, I have to build the spacers, and then we'll be able to start putting th together all of the uh, top pieces, which will be nice. I'll probably flip it over to do that, but we'll see. All right, so got the welds done right here. Boom, 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 got them all. So now um, I've unclamped it, allowed it to relax. Um, now I'm going to check the level and uh, see how it's looking. So let's do that. Looks level there. Looks level there. Looks level there. Let's see how the level looks this way. A little bit off, but let's see if it's the same on the other side. Yeah, we might have a little tiny, tiny bit of potato chipping, but I think we're pretty good. Now, I'm going to check the distance between that corner and that corner and then that corner and whoa, that corner um, and see how off we were with that. So... That side is 80 inches, 3 16th inch. And then we have 80 and one and a half, 3 16th inch here. So I would say that's pretty good. I would say that's pretty good. So look, we're off by one and a half, 16th of an inch. So three 30 seconds of an inch. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for these tools. Cool. So now, now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it, keep in the same order as I went. So this was the first one I started with. I'm going to burn here and I'm going to burn here. So, and I'm going to burn these at the same time. So as, because what happens when metal shrinks or metal cools, it shrinks. And so it pulls. So what happens if I just did this one, it might put a can, a, a, a turn in it. So what I want to do is I want to burn this one and then immediately burn this one. So they'll cool at the same rate and they'll pull at the same rate. And then they'll put a tension in there. Actually probably make it a little stronger too. So I'll do this one and I'll do that one. And then I'll do this one and then that one. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. One thing I don't like about this new mask is I can't wear my respirator underneath it. It doesn't fit. My old one I could fit in there. So I gotta get it now I gotta get a new respirator that's designed to fit in a mask like this. Tim has one of those. Now I need one. 
It's an endless supply of stuff that I need. I guess I can always wear this shitty thing. That might not be a bad idea. Not that great, but... Oh, do I look like I belong in China? If I lived in China, I'd probably wear one of these too. Got it flipped. As you can see, I flipped it over. Um, so here's the tops right here, and then they were bent a little bit this way because I burnt on the other side. So like I said, it, shr it shrunk and it, it peeled it up this way. So now what I'm gonna do is I have it clamped back down to bring it back down and then I'm gonna um, weld it uh, here, which is how I'm gonna weld in all the cross-sectional pieces is to um, weld there and then there. Um, and then the next one will be like right here and then right here and then all the way down. Um, so weld all these on, get this nice and solid. And then uh, the next thing we'll have to do is put the tabletop on, which is gonna be a series of multiple slots, which is those right there. And then there's a couple more of them right over there. But um, those are all gonna go on here and they're all just gonna run across. It's gonna be a slotted table, like I was saying. So I've been saying this for a long time. Maybe now it's starting to make sense. But um, so now I'm gonna burn, burn all those on and then I gotta make some kind of spacer to hold this in. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that yet. I might do it on the lathe. Um, I might just get a piece of wood. I'm not sure yet, but first I'm gonna burn those. All right, so I got the slots just laid out on there. Not at all measured, but I'm thinking about this I might just kind of a little bit eyeball it a little bit and then um, get my caliper set up for the right distance, go through, set them up about right, and then kind of wiggle them in there. Instead of trying to build a jig, I think I might just do that just to save a little time and make things a little easier. I think it'll work pretty well, um, but it's pretty cool, huh? All right, so I've got these laid out. I've got my calipers set to uh, 2.231 inches. Um, which is should be the distance between all these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of set them out and make sure the distance looks right. Um, with these, I'm do it by hand. And then um, after that, uh, if it looks right, we have 48 welds to do. Um, so if there's 12 left, uh, four welds per bar, um, 48. And then uh, we'll be able to go after that. We'll have the top finished. So um, so yeah, let's see how this looks. Weird. All right, so we're perfect over here. I like almost dead on right here on this side. For whatever, for whatever reason, this side got off by, oh, I don't know, probably about, a thick, about the thickness of a 14 gauge piece of steel. But I think I'm gonna call that, I think that's good. So I think now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through and be um, even more precise, but I think I'm gonna go through and start welding this in there. And hopefully whatever offness that was will come out. If not, it's all right, it's such a small amount, your eye would never notice it. All right, I just succeeded the duty cycle on my welder, which means it just got too overworked. So I gotta give it a second to cool off and then I'll come back and finish the welds. Can you see the bees? God damn, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna finish these welds. I don't think this is doing anything, but I'm wearing it anyway. The smoke smells. I did not like that. I gotta get a new respirator. Should I try that one one more time? If I can take off one of these and I can block this. My duct tape's missing. I feel like everyone should know that I'm a little high. I feel like that's important that people know. I haven't smoked in a while, and I smoked, and now I'm like, whoa, I got too high, too. God damn. Now I'm feeling better. <laughs> I'm going to weld these three on, for sure. I don't know if I'm going to do the legs today. All right. Damn. Let's weld these on. Let us finish the weldment. I do not like that smell. I can still smell it. Especially that's what's fucking happening. It's disgusting. Probably just burning oil. Paint it off. Look how fucking filthy. Oh, oh man. Look at that. Look at that. That's disgusting. That should at least be a little bit better. I wish I... I thought about doing that and then I was rushed today. And then that probably really shouldn't rush. I mean, look at me. I got shit everywhere. I can't even walk back here. I knew they were greasy. Like, what? 
Why would I just burn all that grease all day long? Oh, that shit cannot be good for you. I'll tell you what, though. When I was filming it, I was holding my breath. So I was holding my breath and I wouldn't breathe while I was doing it. Wait a minute. I definitely don't want to blow up. I shouldn't have been holding my breath. That was a bad idea. Guess what though? Guess the fuck why? Oh. 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 I will hit them all. I will hit every single one of those motherfuckers. Oh. I'm so fucking tired. And feel very very satisfied right now. I'm gonna go take a shower, edit this video, and talk to you motherfuckers tomorrow. If you watch the after credit scene, the way I'm gonna present this is I'm going to put legs on it. This is how I'm gonna finish this. I gotta finish, I gotta put the legs on. And then I want to clean the garage so that it's really clean. And then at night, when there's no light, I want to place it over here in front of my workbench. And the camera will be over here this way. So you really don't know what I'm looking at. But that's okay. That's why you have to be excited to watch it, right? So I'm going to put it over there. And then I'm going to put a camera on it and then dark. And then I'm gonna turn on one light and then I'm gonna leave it on for a bit. And I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna turn the other light. I'm gonna leave it on for a second. And so it'll be like, it'll be cut like boom. And then it'll be cut like boom. And then it'll zoom in on my face. I'll put the camera down and I'm gonna step forward. I'm gonna inch towards an empty chair. And in the last scene, it's gonna be my face, and I'm gonna say something to the camera.